RAF Woodhall Spa was built in 1941 and opened in February 1942. It was located southeast of Woodhall Spa Village, just off the B1192. Two T2s and a B1 hangar were built. It was built as a satellite airfield for RAF Coningsby. The first unit to arrive was number 97 squadron on the 2nd of March 1942. They used Lancasters. Number 97 Squadron provided six aircraft for the raid on the Mann diesel engine factory at Augsburg. 97 Squadron remained at the airfield until the 18th of April 1943 when they moved to Bourne in Cambridgeshire. Three crews from 97 Squadron remained there following uh, forming the nucleus of 619 Squadron. On the 9th of January 1944, 619 and 617 squadrons swapped places, 619 moving to Coningsby. 617 squadron was of course famous for the uh, Dambuster raid. Joining 617 squadron on the 15th of April 1944 was 627 squadron. In 1944, crew from Woodall Spa joined the successful attack on the German battleship the Tirpitz, which was sunk in the attack, ironically having never sank so much as a fishing boat itself. After the war in Europe ended on the 8th of May 1945, 617 Squadron moved to Waddington on the 17th of June of that year. 627 Squadron was disbanded on the 30th of September 1945 and was then renumbered 109 Squadron, leaving Woodall Spa on the 19th of October 1945, moving to RAF Wickenby. When 109 Squadron left, flying ceased at the airfield and the site, but the site wasn't sold or closed, it was used for storage. During the 1960s, number 222 and number 112 squadrons served there with Bloodhound surface-to-air missiles. A T2 hangar was used by RAF Coningsby as an engine facility until 2003. Today there's very little of the airfield itself remaining. Some of the technical buildings still exist. There's also a visitor centre and a memorial garden on the site. And in a Woodall Spa village itself, there is a memorial to 617 Squadron. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video looking at the history of RAF Woodall Spa. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.